India, a land of 1.2 billion people of diverse languages, culture, cuisines and more. But united by their devotion towards Bharat Mata, the female allegory of this great nation. It is a nation of rich cultural history and traditions. Globally, we see India being associated with the Taj Mahal, a symbol of purity, love, Indian history, arts, culture and more. Indeed, the Taj Mahal is considered to be a universally admired masterpiece of India. We are a nation which takes pride in its beautiful art, heritage and skilled artisans since time immemorial. But the colorful and happy aesthetics of India were clouded by the British Raj. It was an era which tested the unity of India, but the unity of the denizens of India stood in great stead, leading to the descent of the British. And then came the drafting of the Indian Constitution. On 26 January 1950, the Indian Constitution came into existence, bringing with it the Indian constitutional rights. The kites here represent universal human rights, on which our constitution has been based upon. First, right to equality. Second, right to freedom. Third, right against exploitation. Fourth, right to freedom of religion. Fifth, cultural and educational rights. Sixth, right to constitutional remedies. Seventh, right to education. And eighth, right to information. We are the world's largest democracy, a powerful nation, yet as we know, every nation has its own set of problems to deal with. And ours has been stung with corruption, pollution, social discrimination, just to name a few. However, people are beginning to realize that there is a lot more that they can do to help their country. We are a nation with newer hopes and aspirations. Now we have dawned upon a new era. With the onset of the Modi government, there have been many initiatives to right our wrongs. With campaigns such as Swash Bharat and Jan Dhan Yojana, we're getting there slowly but surely. The successful landing of the Mangalyaan on Mars is evident of India's success and huge potential in the field of science. Indeed, such initiatives enable the nation to keep progressing. With nearly a majority of its population being under 30 years of age, India has a huge potential. A strong hold in education in India will ensure that it continues to progress. As we know, education is a right for all Indian children. Moving ahead with this thought, Indian High School Dubai opened its portals to Indian expats in the UAE 50 years ago. Out of the numerous schools in the UAE, IHS continues to be the oldest, largest and the most prestigious Indian school. It has been accredited as an outstanding educational institution and it continues to create future leaders of tomorrow. Now we envision a new leader from our very own Indian High School to step up and usher in a new era. We see this leader as the second female Prime Minister of India after 31 years since Indira Gandhi in 1984. We envision that issues faced by the past and the present India, such as discrimination, corruption, degradation of environment and other social evils which haunted India, would have been finally cast away behind bars. It is the dawn of a new day and newer aspirations for a brighter tomorrow.